What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the July edition of Old School RuneScape's Luckiest Players. As usual, we're going through our luckiest drops, PBM pets, items, skilling pets, all that good stuff. If you have something that you think you could contribute to either this or my unluckiest showcase, send it to the email address on the screen. Check in the description below. All of the instructions for submitting are always listed down there. Before we get into today's content, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, BenQ. I've recently set up BenQ's Space Saving Monitor light bar. Since installing this light bar on my setup, it has definitely helped me level up my gaming experience. This light bar is slim and barely noticeable. Not only does it help illuminate your desk area, but it also helps to reduce screen glare on your monitor. I was skeptical at first because monitors are already backlit with an LED panel, but this light is amazing and definitely helps you to see more while you're gaming. The light bar is powered by USB-C, which is super convenient. It also features a hue adjustment that you can use to select the light color between 2700 and 6500K. In addition to this, there is also a light sensor, which will automatically adjust the brightness depending on what lights you have on or off near your computer. This light bar is so easy to use. Just tap the brightness, hue adjustment, or automatic sensor to set it up just how you like it. I've been using this light bar for almost two months now, and I can't even imagine how I gamed without it. So if this looks like something that you have to have, and trust me, you do, for your gaming setup, check out the links in the description below to pick one right off of Amazon. Even better, these light bars are shipped via Amazon Prime, so you can have it in just a couple of days. If you do pick one up, comment below and let me know how you like it. I would love to hear from you guys. All right, everybody, let's get into this one. Starting off with our luckiest clue scrolls, as always, going to see our third age recipients for the month of July. First up is going to be Nazi on hard casket number 104, pulling a third age plate body for 93 million. Hard casket number 79 for the group Iron Man Gim Diablo, third age mage hat, 11 mil. Hard casket number 53 for Jatland, third age plate body, 96 million. Hard casket number 32 for Devokin, third age amulet for 30 million. Hard casket number 26 for Zar Zul with a third age row bottom, 24 mil. Hard casket number 20, third age range top for 40 million for extended clip. Next up is our Elite Caskets. This one is an unknown casket completion. Third Age Kite Shield for Mr. Gasano. Elite Casket number 33 on Mimic KC number 1. Pulling Third Age Plate Body for Oda Block, not the actual Oda Block, but an imposter. Master Casket number 59 with the help of the Mimic. Pulling Third Age Longsword. 469 million for Hot Umbrella. Master Casket number 42. Mimic KC number 5. Third Age Plate Skirt for 78 million for Tanya Evil. And last but not least is Master Casket number one on the first Mimic KC. Shaw dies a lot, pulling Third Age Range Legs for 20 million. Moving into our other lucky clue loot. Easy Casket here, unknown casket count. Team Cape Zero and a ham joint in the same clue for Blue Ziv. Total of 9.2 mil from an easy clue, that's super nice. Medium Casket, unknown completion count. Double Ranger Boots in this one for Co Cola Man 16. Medium Caskets number 273 and 274 for Suburb, pulling the back-to-back -back Ranger Boots on this one. Medium Casket 92 and 93, another back-to-back -back Ranger Boots for the Iron Man San Yuga. Medium Casket number 4 Ranger Boots for the group Iron Man Inquisitor. Medium Casket number 2 Ranger Boots for 94JG. And Medium Casket number 1 Ranger Boots for the Iron Man Iron Jor. Into the Hard Caskets, only one of them. Hard Casket number 175, Gilded Legs and a Gilded Helm in the same clue for Luck of 13. Elite Caskets, a trio of 1 KCs here. Elite Casket number 1 Ranger's Tunic for Legal Hooker. Elite Casket number one, Gilded Scimitar for Mr. Fabler. And Elite Casket number one, Gilded Dehyde Body for the Iron Man Zur, by the way. Master Caskets, Master Casket number eight, pulling the Bloodhound and the Gilded Boots in the same clue for the Iron Man. Oh, I'm fuming. Probably not fuming after that one. Master Casket number four, Bloodhound for X Tarns. Master Casket number two, Bloodhound for the group Iron Man Big Gushy Uwu and a trio of Master Casket number ones this month for the Bloodhound pet. The first one goes to Erloid54. Next up on Master Casket number one is the Iron Man QC 
for life. And last is going to be the group Iron Man, Mahdi, pulling that Bloodhound on the first Master Clue. So that is it for our Clue Scrolls for this month. Next up, always our most popular section, the PVM Item Drop, starting it off with our top 10 KCs. 10 KC Double Barrows Chest, Aram's Top, and a Torag's Legs for Carrot Suji. 10 KC Briophita's Essence for the group Iron Man, Air Dibble. 9 KC Tanzanite Fang for the Iron Man, Zawal. 9 KC Hydra Claw for the Ultimate Iron Man, Khan Academy. 9 KC Eternal Crystal for the group Iron Man, Two Jokers. 9KC Elijah Sigil in a duo team for Tech Tom. 9KC Elijah Sigil for Fee Morticia, group Iron Man account there. 9KC Armadil Chestplate for Next Gen PC. 8KC Bandos Hilt for the group Iron Man Veerkant. 7KC Gauntlet or 10KC Corrupted Gauntlet, not really sure which. Enhanced Weapon Seed for Bald Man's Ken. 7KC Primordial Crystal for Manya Nubal. 6KC Twisted Bow for Law Webier in the normal Chambers of Xerix. 6KC Smoke Battle Staff for the Iron Man in care. 6KC Crystal Armor Seed in the normal Gauntlet for Clutch Hutch. 5KC Zamorakian Spear for the group Iron Man 2 Jokers, who we just saw a second ago. 4KC Zamorakian Spear for the group Iron Man Boy Trace. 4KC Magic Fang for Music Men's. 4KC Jar of Darkness for the Iron Man Booger Stain. <laughs> oh my god. 4KC Eternal Crystal for 806 Nightwolf. 4KC Crystal Armor Seed in the Normal Gauntlet for Naoto Pison. 4KC Bandos Hilt for the Iron Man Dougal Diddle. 3KC Tanzanite Mutagen for the group Iron Man I See the Ticks. 3KC Imbued Heart for the Iron Man Hikimaka. 3KC Hydra Heads for Taran Fox. 3KC Briophita's Essence for Senior Herbs. 2KC Zamorakian Spear for OSR's Delta. 2KC Sarah Doman Sword for the group Iron Man Menly Dan. 2KC Primordial Crystal for 6-9 Lord 6-9. 2KC Archer's Ring for Craighead 18. And a 2KC Arcane Sigil for Fee Gomez, the group Iron Man, who was actually on the same team as Fee Morticia, who got the Elijah Sigil at 9KC. Next up, we are moving into our luckiest of the luckiest. These are our 1KC PVM item drops. I've been doing these videos for a long time and I still cannot believe how many of these come in every single month. 43 of them for the month of July. 43 1KC item drops. Starting it out is Wet But Dry with an Enhanced Weapon Seed from the Corrupted Gauntlet. V Flag R with a Dragon Pickaxe from the Chaos Elemental. Two Jokers, again, Group Iron Man with a Ceridoman's Light. Two Completion with an Occult Necklace, Thramus, Bandos Hilt, The Arc Saint with Bandos Tacits, The Uper, Eternal Crystal, Swix Mixer, Bandos Hilt, Sugab, a Vernic Defender Hilt in a Holy Ornament Kit in the Hard Mode Theater of Blood, Sugab again with an Arcane Sigil, SpongeBob 94, Dragon Pickaxe from Callisto, Sinful Saint 9 with an Armadil Chestplate, Zamorak Hilt, and a 2KC Bandos Chestplate, absolutely nuts. Squeesh, Bottomless Compost Bucket, Ralph, Hydra's Claw, Pandrags, Dagon High Hat, Not Fee, Piper, the Iron Man, with an uncut onyx from Zolra, Mr. Kyle, Serpentine Visage, Malin Doe, Iron Man, with an Avernic Defender Hilt, Mogzi, Dragon Pickaxe from Venonatus, Mitt S, Ring of Endurance, M. Ozturk, Elijah Sigil, Luke 2, Zamorakian Spear, Keel, Armadil Chainskirt, Iron Blag, Bandos Hilt, I, Mr. Hardcore, Hill Giant Club, G.I.M. Bradley with the Hardcore Group Iron Man account with a Dagon High Row Bottom, G.I.M. Ed Q, Zamorakian Spear, Gim Disabler, Briophita's Essence, Gene Dangus 92, Armadil Chestplate, Fee Slippy Fist Group Iron Man account, Jar of Decay from Vorkath, Iwazamelt G, close enough, Group Iron Man account with a Bandos Chestplate, Eggels, the Hardcore Iron Man with an Archer's Ring. Drug Mule with an Armadil Chain Skirt. Dirty Boy with a Tyrannical Ring. Dis Derizen Yu, the actual name is unsired backwards. I had to read it a couple times to figure it out. Group Iron Man account here with an Armadil Chain Skirt. Craighead 18, Crystal Armor Seed from the Normal Gauntlet. Clueless Bucko with a Jar of Darkness. Boy Trace, Group Iron Man with a Dragon Pickaxe from Calesto. Big Yeti, Dragon Full Helm from Chewed Bones. Bem Swolo with a Primordial Crystal, Arcanine by the way, Iron Man account with a Dragon Pickaxe from the Chaos Elemental, Alfredo with a Ring of Endurance, and 75 Cordoba with a Zamorakian Spear. Wow, that was a long section for 1KC drops. Congrats to all of you 
for your super lucky 1kc drops that is awesome 43 this month next up is our back to backs 22 of them for july z guppy with an armadillo hilt on 24 kc an armadillo chest plate on 25 and also getting a skirt at 32 and a helm at 43 nice drops yelb mert hydra leather on 136 and 137 for the hydra claw x ozymandias with a primordial crystal at 697 which is the first one of the account and 698 skullish with a pet chaos elemental 2 3 and 20 kc polymoles with an enhanced weapon seed at 137 and a young lift at 138 in the corrupted gauntlet fasani monk the iron man with a darak helm on 26 dark legs on 27 and a guth and spear on 28 at barrows for the back three back Owned you 22 with a jar of dirt at 7,013 and a trident drop at 7,014. OSRS Rusty, the group Iron Man with a Scythe of Vitor drop, 5 and 6 KC. NZ Cant, Hardcore Iron Man, Berserker's Ring on 6 KC and a Dragon Axe on 7 KC. Nostalgic 00, Staff of the Dead on 825 and a Steam Battle Staff on 826. Noble Cory with an uncut onyx at 1992 and a serpentine visage at 1993. Nemers with a crystal weapon seed at 50. Corrupted gauntlet KCs and a crystal armor seed at 51. Mound with Zenite shards in the same chat window. Not really sure if it's back to back, but close enough. Lord Arwen, Holy Elixir at 15 KC, followed by Spirit Shield at 16. Kratos, the group Iron Man with Pet Ziliana on 217 and a Ceridoman Sword on 218. I Memorial I with back-to-back -back Chompy Chicks, 1024 and 1025 KC. Hades 98X with Armadillo Helmets, 457 and 458 KC. Group Iron Man Doey with an Enhanced Weapon Seed at 58 and 59 KC. Don Timo, Chompy Chicks, back-to-back, -back, 1309 and 1310 KC. Krami Jr., Primordial Crystals, 291 and 292 BV Cleavy, Chompy Chicks at 1089 and 1090 KC. This must be the month for Chompy Chicks. Iron Arrows, Magic Fang at 260 and an Uncut Onyx at 261. Next up is going to be our other lucky PVM drops and combo drops. Tugboat starting this one off with Elijah Sigil and a Jar of Spirits in the same kill, 1217 KC. Sugab, 22 KC Twisted Bow at the Chambers of Zarek. First purple of the account. Imagine getting a twisted bow on your very first purple. Super lucky. Steeler split. Bando's chest plate from a minion. This is a 75 combat account, by the way. Zero Bando's KC pulling that drop in from the minions. Kind of cool log to look at. Silk Vendor. Double Tourmaline Core from the Grotesque Guardians at 281 KC. RRM Plankton, the group Iron Man, almost back to back on the Smoke Battle Staff, 735 and 737. Pharaoh Ion pulling the Dragon Full Helm from the Mithril Dragons, 1 in 32,000 on the drop rate. Not a UIM, who is in fact an Ultimate Iron Man, pulling a crossbow at total of 274 Revenant KCs. Super lucky there. Master XT1, three Spectral Sigils at 112 kill count. Lorem Puela pulling the Double Tanzanite Fang from Zalra at 4137 KC. Leon Carney, Iron Account, with a Twisted Bow at 74 KC with only 8,597 points. Kraguna with a Solo Elijah Sigil at 33 KC. I Mapuo, the Iron Man, with a Pagasian Crystal at 101, a Jar of Souls at 126, and a Primordial Crystal at 135, all in a 34 kill span. Hey Cheems, the group Iron Man with an Armadillo skirt at 43, a pet at 45, another skirt at 50, and a plate at 56. 13 kills in there, 4 rare drops. Ghetto Tie with 3 Archer's Rings in just 6 kills, 48, 50, and 53 KC. Foodmaster pulling a Jar of Spirits and an Arcane Sigil in the same drop at 36, 42. Dragon Coiler with a Vigora's Chain Mace at the Revenants, Unsculled, super rare drop there. Gent Boy with three Twisted Kits in just 12 Challenge Mode Chambers of Xerix. Dim Quasar with two Pharaoh Scepters in the same chat window. These are one in a thousand on the chest search there in Pyramid Plunder. Drew with a Hydra Claw and a Jar of Chemicals in the same kill. Chusker 23 with two Hydra Claws sub 100 KC at just 71 completed Hydra kills. And rounding out our PVM item drop section is going to be Big Alley with an Inquisitor's Helm, a Sleepy Tablet, and a Parasitic Egg all in the same kill at the Nightmare. 
Next up, we're heading into our luckiest PVM pet section. Starting this one off, top 25 KCs, 24 KC Young Lift and the Corrupted Gauntlet for DN Kevin, 22 KC Abyssal Orphan for the Iron Man Elves Ranku, 21 KC Pet Snakeling for Master XT1, 21 KC Pet Dagonoth Rex for the group Iron Man Air Dibble, 18 KC Venonata Spiderling for the Iron Man Big Knob, 17 KC Ickle Hydra for Spoo Gee. 17 KC, Dagonal Supreme for the group Iron Man Sick Yiddies. 14, 80, and 167 KC, Young Lift Pets for the Iron Man was Zorks. 14 KC, Pet Dagonoth Prime for the group Iron Man Daddle. 13 KC, Pet Kraken for Shadow Step. 13 KC, Little Nightmare for Bald Man's Ken. 13 KC, Lil Zick for Ripper G. 12 KC, Sriracha for Viserin Max. 12 KC, Jad Pet for Shadow Joker. 10KC Vorky Pet and another one at 23 for Eric AFK. 7KC Pet Chaos Elemental from the Chaos Elemental for Lickix. 7KC Hell Puppy for 2 Completion. 6KC Pet Smoke Devil for Grimlore. 6KC Hunlift from the Normal Gauntlet for Blurg. 5KC and another one later at 28KC Hell Puppies for the Iron Man Soup Can Cam 69. 5KC Skotos for Mr. Manlet. 5KC Ickle Hydra for Subsana. 5KC Hell Puppy, Pegasian Crystal for Wedge Tailed, 4KC Jad Pet for Globble, 4KC Abyssal Orphan for Plague Rot, 3KC Zuck Pet for Caldo Super, the group Iron Account, 3KC Young Lift Pet in the Corrupted Gauntlet for Simo 1159, 3KC Pet Dark Core for Viserin Max, 3KC Pet Chaos Elemental for the Iron Man Robot Chicken, 2KC Skotos for XO, 2KC Pet Dagonoth Rex for Nubatron 91, 2KC Omelet with an Ancestral Robe Top in there for Mr. Willis, and a 2KC Jad Pet for the group Iron Man Pierre Per Se. On to our 1KC pets for this month, 14 of them making the cut for this section. Tyler Slacks, the group Iron Man, Pet Criara, TTC Thex Bees for Skotos, the Mr. Lip, Jad Pet, Schism with a Little Nightmare, Paracuda pulling a Callisto Cub, Lumisock 420 with a pet General Grador, Iron Tullstack, Iron Man with a pet Chaos Elemental from the Chaos Fanatic, I'm Shucked with a pet Criara, Green Joe 1 pulling the Chaos Elemental pet from the Fanatic, Grabastic with a pet Chaos Elemental from the Chaos Elemental, Gimp Mugger with a Jad pet, Dude What's Up TV with a pet Dagonoth Prime, Chupapi Sugma, Group Iron Man account with a Skotos, and Bark Blood with a pet Dagonoth Supreme. Rounding out the PVM pet section, we're going to check out some other pet drops, combo drops, all that good stuff. Tap out Sun, three Nextlings in just 426 completed kills. Very nice on that log. RS Heimdall with four Vorkies, sub 1000 KC at just 931 KC. MX MVR with a Boomlet pulling that one in at 111 KC. John F. and Snow, three pets in three days. Pulling the King Black Dragon Pet on July 7th, Dagonoth Prime on July 8th at 9KC, and a Skotos on July 9th at 7KC. Green Roxas with a Calphite Princess and a Jar of Sand, 242KC. Dryan Man, the Iron Man, three Chaos Elemental Pets on the same day, July 14th at 166, 201, and 220KC. Dead Wish Joe, Iron Account, with a Hell Puppy and a Jar of Souls at 417KC. Abyssal Dan, the Iron Man, with an Armadale Helmet and a Pet Criara at 108 KC, and 7367, another three pets in three days, KBD on July 3rd, Cerberus on July 4th, and the Corporeal Beast Pet on July 5th. Next up, we're heading into our luckiest skilling pet section, notoriously our shortest section pretty much every single month, but still worth mentioning. We'll start out with our level-based pets. Level 69 Agility Pet from the Hallowed Sepulcher for Bison 589. 67 Farming at a Yew Tree for Master Belden pulling that Tangle Root. 62 Mining Pet from a Shooting Star for the group Iron Man Gim Duds God. Level 39 Thieving Pet at the Fruit Stalls for the Hardcore Iron Man VOP and a level 19 Fishing Pet from the Fishing Trawler for the group Iron Man Gim Coximus. Into our KC based pets, got a few of these too. 25 KC Abyssal Protector for Thomas 1575, 22 KC Abyssal Protector for the Iron Man Blago 9, 17 KC Tiny Temper for Farkin Sledge, 17 KC Small Kano Pet for Dr. Brownie. 
13 KC Tiny Temper for Master Belden, and a 10 KC Tiny Temper for Mr. Steve. And last for scaling pets, we've got a few other mentions here. The Vengelord, the ultimate Iron Man, pulling four mining pets at 84 mining. I'm maxed. I'm still salty. I don't have any scaling pets, but come on, man. Share the love. Nostalgic 00, zero pulling beavers at 92, 95, and 96 woodcutting from Redwoods. Three pets pre-99. Mostly fans pulling a couple of beaver pets just 141,000 XP apart at Teak Trees. 6,077,000 and 6,218,000 for both of those pets. Kidra pulling four mining pets before 99 mining. 12.91 mil XP. He was almost there. Group Iron Man Wise Noob pulling the third Phoenix pet just after 99 fire making at 13,049,179 XP. And last is going to be BV Cleavy pulling a Heron pet at 3,090,000 and 3,186,000, just 177,000 XP apart. Closing this month's luckiest players out is going to be our luckiest collection log, starting out with Zoltra RS at Cerberus, completing the log and only duplicating the Pegasian Crystal, 684kc. Zezima's Tal at the Hydra, pulling a claw and five leathers, only missing the pet from the log at 594kc. Extreme Theory, Ultimate Iron Man, looking for the beginner clues, completing the whole log at just 206 beginner's caskets. Vecco at the Gauntlet, 4 Armor Seeds, 1 Enhanced Weapon Seed, and just 41 Normal Gauntlets, not even Corrupted Gauntlets, 41 KC in the Normal Gauntlet. Ty Lular, the Iron Man, at Barrows, completing the whole log at 676 KC with 5 Carol's Tops and 4 Aram's Tops in there. Typical completion for Barrows is around 1250 KC. Titanic PVM at Cerberus. 19 total crystal drops, 11 of them being primordials. RNG is definitely on your side, my friend. Thick squats at the Corporeal Beast, completing an entire Arcane Spirit Shield at 58 kill count. Thick thighs at Zalra, pulling both mutagens in a jar of swamp at 313 KC. Spooter buns at the Corporeal Beast, one spectral and one arcane sigil in just 15 kill count. Solo Marsh, the Iron Man, at the Kraken, completing the log with two tentacles, sub 300 KC at 295. Ruined Hope, the Iron Man at the Demonic Gorillas, completing the log without any duplicates, 363 KC. Rob Riggle at the Grotesque Guardians, completing this log, 297 kill count for the 1 in 5,000 jar drop and the 1 in 3,000 pet drop. Rick M, the Iron Man at the Gauntlet, one Armor Seed, two Weapon Seeds, and three Enhanced Weapon Seeds at 53 Normal Gauntlets and 51 Corrupted Gauntlets. Ratato, Ratatusker, Ratatusker, I give up. Vorkath, three Skeletal Visages, 770 KC. Psalm 91 at the Corporeal Beast completed this log with two Spectrals and three Jars in Leet KC, 1,337. Fahriel at Callisto completing the log, 517 KC. Oralis at the Gauntlet completing this log with three Armors and two Weapon Seeds, 68 Gauntlets and 86 Corrupted Gauntlets. Oak Plank the Iron Man at the Hydra pulling the Ickle Hydra and a Claw, sub 50 KC. Nitrous Bro, the Iron Man at Corporeal Beast, completing all the Spirit Shields, only missing the pet and the jar, 880 kill count. Mlo7 at Zamorak God Wars Dungeon, pulling three Zamorak Spears and a Hilt in 32 kill count. Like the Iron Man at the Medium Clue Log, two Ranger Boots and a Holy Sandals in just 35 clues completed. Luffy D. Yonko at Cerberus with all stones and the pet, only missing the jar at 261 kill count. Lorem Puella, the Iron Man. Corporeal Beast, pulling an Elysian, two Spectrals, and an Arcane, only missing the pet at 501 kill count. Keel at the Armadillo God Wars Dungeon, completing the log with three Helms and two Plates, 333 KC. Iron X Bunny, the Iron Man at the Armadillo God Wars Dungeon, completing the entire armor set without any duplicates, 111 KC. Hop TY, Group Iron Man account at the Gauntlet, completing the whole log, one Normal Gauntlet Kill, and 76 Corrupted Gauntlets. Gimbal Sneck, Group Iron Man at the Hydra, pulling three claws, one tail, and one leather in 295 kill count. Dude's getting claws for the whole squad. Group Iron Man Zebak, 
medium clue scrolls, rangers, holy sandals, and two spiked manacles in just 33 clues. Group Iron Man jobs at Cerberus with all four crystals before he even completed the first task. 113 kill count. Gigglegrass, Group Iron Man at Bandos God Wars Dungeon. Full Bandos armor set, just 59 kills. Fred God at Cerberus pulling 16 crystal drops in 830 kill count. The drop rate, you should only be at like 7 drops. Foxbat McGee at the Gauntlet completing the log. 80 gauntlets and 63 corrupted gauntlets. Fee B, the Iron Man at the Gauntlet, pulling 4 armor seeds, 4 weapon seeds, and 2 enhanced weapon seeds with just 50 normal gauntlets and 88 corrupted gauntlets. Fans only at Venonatus completing the log before both of the drop rates for the Uniques, 488 kill count. Eaton at the Zamorak God Wars Dungeon only missing the pet. 2 Zamorakian Spears, 37 kill count. Dark Shelby at Barrows, pulling 13 item drops in 98 completed Barrows runs. That's one in every 7.5, about half the drop rate of what it should be, providing you're getting that 86 to 88 percent loot potential. Bollocks at the Hydra, only missing the jar, and has six Hydra claws at 1,900 kill count. Anduril FOTW at Zalra pulling the pet and three serpentine visages, sub 100 kill count at 88 KC. And last but not least is going to be two Bs and a white, Armadil God Wars Dungeon, three completed armor sets and three hilts in 669 kill count. So that is going to do it for this month's episode of Old School RuneScape's Luckiest Players. Now you may have seen last night I posted on my community tab that I will be constraining these submissions. The submissions for luckiest unluckiest players are absolutely overflowing. The series has gained a lot of popularity. So what is accepted and what's not gonna be accepted is going to be changed to be more rare and things that you don't see as often because these videos are getting incredibly long, packed with drops. So we need to get some more rare stuff in there, only feature what deserves to be featured. So as always, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate the submissions. I appreciate you guys watching the videos. If you haven't done so yet, tap that subscribe button on your way out. Make sure to like the video if you liked it. I will see you on the next one. Take it easy.